Well, hello everyone. Uh, this is the November 11th, I believe, 2014. It's a rainy Sunday here in Florida. Uh, the temperature is down to 65, which is still not too bad, you know, sweater weather. And, um, but anyhow, I've been doing some shopping and my, my dog just pushed my tripod, so that's why my camera moved. Um, but anyhow, um, did some shopping at the Dollar Tree and a, an estate sale, and I think I went to a yard sale. I didn't do too much this week when it came to estate sales and yard sales. And yeah, I went to a yard sale and Dollar Tree. I think that's about all the shopping I did was Dollar Tree and yard sale and, and an estate sale. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, it's, I'm not going to do this in any particular order because I don't have it all straightened out yet. All right, from the Dollar Tree, I had a coupon. Get six uh, cans of Goya beans with the blue label and get a dollar off. So I got two cans of the black beans. I love black beans over rice. Oh, fantastic. And then I got some pinto beans. Um, I got a can of chickpeas. Chickpeas I like too, over rice. Um, let's see. And two cans of kidney. So I uh, got a dollar off of six cans of those. So that was a good deal. And I have a bag behind me where I put my plastic bags at and then take them to the recycle center or wherever I decide to drop them off. Okay, at the state sale, I wasn't really looking for any more music because I've got tons of it. But I saw this Reader's Digest. It says the easy way to play 100 favorite songs of faith, friendship, and love. And they had it for $2, but today was half price sale. So guess what? I got it for a dollar. Reader's Digest. And I am so excited to get started to uh, start playing this. The book is in excellent condition. Um, has an index. And um, this is an example of what the songs look like. This is one of my favorites, I believe. That's one of my favorites. And uh, let's see. Oh, here's one called My Prayer for Today. Look at that. So this is just a little example of some of the songs that are in here. And I like this book. Um, out of all the Reader's Digest books I have, well, yeah, because this one is, um, the top line is highlighted in blue, which is the treble line, which means that's for sopranos and altos. So, and, uh, so it makes it a little bit easier when you're trying to play the music. But uh, this is a beautiful book. Put, a, um, put on a happy face is in here. Smile. Oh, I like that song. If that's the one I'm thinking of, the one that's Jerry Lewis's um, uh, theme song. Jesus wants me for a sunbeam. Jacob's ladder. I like Jacob's ladder. Um, I love to tell the story. Now that is one of my favorites. But anyhow, that's just a few of the songs that are in here, and. I was so shocked to see it um, for a dollar, for you know, for a dollar today. Yesterday it would have been two dollars, but and nobody picked it up. So she must have had an organ, but the organ wasn't there. Okay, and then also at the estate sale, I found these blouses for church. Isn't that pretty? 
and I think I paid a dollar. Yeah, I paid a dollar for this blouse. It is so silky and so soft. So I'm going to look forward to wearing that one. And then I got this one too, which is silky and soft. It has embroidery on the collar. And I got that for a dollar. And then I got these placemats, and I got them for um, 75 cents for both of them together. My camera looks kind of dark. Maybe, maybe it won't be so bad when I upload it. If it is, then I'll just have to fix the lighting on it. Oh, yeah, I told you those placemats were 75 cents for both of them. Alrighty, and then I got some rip rack and stuff, and I paid 75 cents for this. Didn't get up in time for church this morning. I'm not feeling well. I'm just feeling tired. I think it's the rain. Every time it rains, I feel like this. So, trying to get these staples out. I hate it when they do staples. All right, let's see what I have here. Okay, I have some bias tape, Rick Rack, some more bias tape, some more Rick Rack, uh, bias tape, bias tape. More bias tape <laughs> and more bias tape, and then this real pretty uh, lacy trim. And uh, I I can never have enough bias tape and rip rack because I use it a lot. All right, now this little bag was twenty five cents, so let's see what was in here. Okay, we got some eyes. Hmm. Oh, look, a little ladybug. I don't know what I would do with it. I could put a magnet on the back of it or something. Uh, this is a bumble. Is it a bumblebee? No, it's a um, caterpillar. I guess. Anyhow, that's what it looks like. <sighs> and then a plastic thing that says happy birthday, which I've probably never used, but I might. Oh, and then I've got a red bird. Um, another little caterpillar. A bell. It doesn't ring. And then some little bumblebees or something, whatever they are. And then I got this uh, stretchy elastic trim. And they wanted 50 cents for it. And I got that much. So it's not bad for 50 cents. And then I got a lint brush for my sewing machines. I like to have a lint brush on every machine. Okay. The whole tree again. Alrighty, get a little bit closer here because I need to get to this edge of the table. All right, I found these cute little cups for my granddaughters. So I got this one, which has both sisters on it. And then I got this one that has Olaf. I think he is so cute. You know, out of the whole movie, I think he is my favorite because he is so silly. <laughs> I like him. Okay, and uh, then my nephews are 12 years old. And so um, 
This is like a comic book of the Avengers. So they're going to like that. They like comic books. And then I got one um, about Iron Man. I'm already starting a Christmas shop here. So the cups and the books and this that I'm getting ready to show you is for Christmas. This is a word search from Frozen. And this will be for my seven-year-old granddaughter. And um, the words to me seem like they'd be pretty easy for her to find. Um, they're big letters. And if she wants, she can color in the top here on each page. Like that. And uh, these she has had for spelling words or will have for spelling words. So this will help her with her spelling. Well, she's a straight A student anyhow. She's in <sighs> first, second grade. Yeah, she's in second grade. I can't keep it straight. She's in second grade and um, she's a straight A student in spelling, but she's always been good in spelling. All right, and then I found these um, solar, solar lights. And so I got two. These are going on my father's grave. He has some with the flag on it now. But I'm going to decorate these up a little bit more. I'm going to uh, maybe put like a Christmas ribbon or something around the bottom of it, let it hang down, you know, fix it up a little bit because it looks just too plain to me. And then I got, I thought I got two packs of these. Yeah, here we go. So I got two packs of these push-up pencils, retractable pencils. And these are of Spider-Man. So I got two packs for my nephews. I got this self-laminating. And I hope it works because my... Social Security card and my Medicare card is starting to get a little rough on the edges, so I want to protect them. So I know you're not supposed to do that, but what's what's going to hurt laminating your um, Medicare and your Social Security card? People told me you're not supposed to, but I'm going to anyhow. Then I found these cuticle uh, trimmers. I had some and I lost them, so I am so glad I found that. And my nephew, my other nephew, he's 22, and he loves Batman. He's always liked Batman. So I got him a Batman frame. And I know that him and his wife had a picture taken of them in Batman costumes or something one time. I'm hoping. But if not, maybe one day they'll do it. And I thought they could put their picture in that and put it on the refrigerator. Then I got me some more paper clips. I use these for my music books because it makes it easier to turn the pages. Um, and I got these sharks from, my, from one of my 12 year old nephews. Um, he's autistic, so he's into sharks big time. And so anytime I see something with sharks, I always get it for him. So I got this bag of sharks for him. Uh, probably be like a stocking stuff or something. And I got some food coloring. I am so glad to see that because I went to Publix or somewhere and I was looking for food coloring and they had gel. I told my husband, I said, I don't want gel, I want the liquid. So I saw on another YouTuber, she was doing a Dollar Tree haul and she was showing that they had the food coloring. So that is one thing that I went to get was the food coloring. So I am so glad that they had it. Um. Let me move my newspaper here. I haven't looked at my paper yet. Uh, I thought I would do it out in my sewing room. It's a dreary day, so I thought I'd come out here and do some stuff. Okay, at a yard sale, I got all of this yarn. It's cotton thread yarn for 50 cents. Oh, was it 50 cents? Yeah, 50 cents. And I use this a lot, like for Barbie clothes and, you know, little things. Oh, at my church, we have a table that you can put stuff on um, that you don't need any longer. And, um, you know, you can then somebody else can pick it up for free. So we call it the free table. But anyhow, 
look what I saw on that table has not been opened at all the seal is still tight and it's still got the uh, plastic around the uh, top coconut oil I use this in my soap making and I also want to learn how to make what is it I want to learn how to make shampoo I want to learn how to make shampoo so then maybe my hair will start doing better and you're supposed to have coconut oil for that okay then I went to another yard sale and I saw all this trim I don't know if you can see how much is on here but it's a lot there's a you know a lot but anyhow I got this trim for two dollars it is so pretty look at that isn't that gorgeous I can't wait to find a use for it and then tracing paper I never buy tracing paper in uh, retail stores I always get it at yard sales 25 cents for that okay and I did go to Walmart pick up this bag I did go to Walmart because I needed some uh, webbing fusible webbing for my projects I'm making for Christmas so this is webbing it has a paper back on it and you iron it to the fabric and then um, after you iron it you peel the paper off um, so I got that that's three yards and I paid the tags not on there I don't remember what I paid for that then I got this fake leather three-quarter yard I paid a dollar forty I have one of these and I could not remember to save my life where I got it from because I put my snaps and my buttons and that kind of thing in it and so I'm gonna go ahead and open it because it's gonna be opened anyhow I want to show you the containers okay see and then it has a real good clasp on it like that and then on the inside is that's what it looks like and these are you know pe most people use these for beads but I use them for my snaps my um, my hook and eyes my small buttons you know things like that anything that's small for my sewing I stick in here so I could not remember uh, where I saw it from because I've had mine a long time and so I was going through the jewelry um, aisle in Walmart and I saw this I said that's where I got it Walmart this was like nine dollars but it's worth it and they're stackable of course and then I got these um, labels that you iron on the back of your uh, fabrics. And take this uh, price tag off. It was on clearance for three dollars. The regular price was three forty-seven, so it really wasn't much of a deal. But I got them because I'm going to need them for my Christmas projects. One of them says DIY. Then the other is um, um, crafted with love, and then the other one is ha um, hand wash. No, the top one says dry clean. All right, so dry clean, hand wash, and crafted with love. So those are going on my Christmas projects I'm making. and oh and then I've got a couple of bags over here I'm going to move the camera so I can get over here to the bags okay went to another yard sale and I saw this book 
and it says shortcuts to home sewing the um, modern singer way and it shows a sewing machine in here it looks in the back it uh, tells you different sewing techniques Oops. well like this one right here to make a ruffle shows you how to do that um, I don't have my uh, reading glasses on so I can't really see wait a minute I've got a pair out right here where are they I think they're in this drawer no I don't know where I put my reading glasses they're out right here somewhere but anyhow I'll just show you because I can't uh, really see what it is and uh, let's see, that's all about the ruffler, seam guide, all kinds of different things. So it shows you what you can use with different types of feet. And I paid 50 cents for that book. And I also got some more brick rack for 25 cents. And I think the rest of this was 50. So I got that. And this is called Baby Rick Rack because it's so little. And I use a lot of this on my dog clothes, the Baby Rick Racks. This is some um, seam binding. And this is bias tape. Alrighty, now back to the Dollar Tree. We're almost through. I have one more bag to go. Why do, I, why do I tie stuff in knots like this? Can I get it out? No, nope. but I can just get it out of the bag. Um, I usually don't buy food and that kind of thing much at the Dollar Tree, but I went down their cookie aisle, and look what I found. <laughs> I love these things. They're, I'm hoping they taste good like the grasshopper cookies do. And uh, we'll find out. Well, let me go ahead and take a bite of one now. When I'm sewing or watching TV, I mean, I don't care what, what I'm doing, where I'm, what part of the house I'm in, I always like to snack. Let's see what it tastes like. Mmm. really good okay mmm so minty and chocolatey mm, really good okay and then I got these cookies here my husband likes those so I got those for him okay and then my last bag Okay, I'm going to wait on those because there's something I want to talk to you about with that. I got these labels, and I'm going to use these labels on my file folders. And, uh, so when I'm looking for something, then the color will pop out at me. And, oh, that's, you know, that's what it is. Okay, I got this candy dish, and I got this candy to put into it. So it's a really nice candy dish, and the lid is really tight sealed. I don't know if you heard that pop when I opened it. I'll do it again. So it's a really tight seal. They have like three different designs. And, um, um, yes, Tanya, I think there was one with snowmen on it. I think I saw one. Okay. I got this for one of my nephews. He's the one that's not autistic, but he's the twin. So I got this for him. It's a nightlight, and he likes camouflage camo stuff. And I got this. I saw this on another YouTuber's video, and I thought, I'd like to have one. And the reason why I thought that is because I like to keep a journal, and I'm not into the, how do you say it, the Hobo Nietzsche journals but I saw this and it reminded me of the Hobonichi journal and that has, has this here 
But because the reason why it reminded me of that is because it has um, where you can put the month and the day. Um, if it's sunny outside, cloudy, or whatever. So um, I thought this would be nice for me uh, to use as a pocket calendar. And then if I want to write some notes for the day, you know, um, you know about what the what I did like if I go to a doctor's appointment I want to talk about the appointment or whatever so I'm going to keep this in my purse and use this as my pocket calendar and um, then I'm going to use some stickers and decorate it up and my markers and that kind of thing so that's what I'm that's what I thought about when I saw her show it on her channel and I thought that would be something nice for me to do to do a Hobonichi, even though I don't want it to have a Hobonichi album, but it will be close enough to it, because I don't write stuff every day. So, alrighty. Now, I got this, make sure I get it straight, because I don't have my glasses on. Um, oh yeah, I'm having eye surgery, cataract taken out on Tuesday. Hey, I hope I don't have to wear glasses anymore because I got the monovision lens being put in. So with this eye, I can see pretty good. If I have it way out to here. Uh, it says body cream. Okay. This smells so good. It's a rose body cream. Smells fantastic. I put a little bit on my, the top, um, on my hand when I was in the store. And it smells, mmm, it smells divinely. It smells like roses. It's not a heavy scent. It's very light, and it's not greasy going on. It feels really good going on. So it's a really good uh, lotion for a dollar. Mmm, smells fantastic. I love it. So I got that for my body lotion, and I got the body wash. And this body wash smells the same. Oh, it smells fantastic. I can't wait to use this. When I take a shower um, tomorrow before I go to my appointment, I'm going to use this in the shower. And then I'm going to use my body lotion. I'm going to be smelling like a rose. Okay, and then I always like to keep these kind of things in my purse. If, um, if we go to a restaurant or something, then when I get in the car, I can clean my teeth. And uh, so I keep these, I like to keep these in my purse so I can keep my teeth clean. I'm very picky about my purse, about my teeth. Okay, and then I got some more of these labels. And I got some more snacks. I got these Swiss rolls. I hope they're good. Um, I like the little Debbie's, so I hope those are good. And then I saw these. I couldn't believe I saw this in the dollar store. I love fruitcake. And look what I found in the dollar store. So I got two of them. I'm not sure. I, I guess that'll make like one cake that size there. But still for $2 to make uh, maybe two fruitcakes for $2, that is not bad. Then I got some candy sprinkles because at Christmas time I bake cookies and I like to put the sprinkles on them. And if the granddaughters are here, um, they can help, but they're never here on Christmas Eve. But, you know, maybe one year my daughter will say, well, we're going to go to Grandma's for Christmas Eve. And, uh, you know, Santa Claus will meet us there. And if so, then, you know, they can do their sprinkles. But, and, I mean, if they come, when they come over any other time during the year and they, and we want to bake cookies, I can, I pull out the sprinkles. They can do their sprinkles then too. Or they can probably put those on ice cream like they do in the buffet. Um, cause they have those in the buffet you can put on, on ice cream. So, I mean, there's all kinds of uses. They didn't have the chocolate sprinkles. I like the chocolate sprinkles too. They didn't have any of those, but hopefully they'll come out with some for Christmas. Now, I got my mother a Christmas present, and this is the first Christmas present I've gotten her so far, and she loves these things. So I got her a box, and I might go back and get her a second box, because she really likes those, and I try to get them every year for Christmas for her, ever since I was a little girl. Um, okay, now, I got this stylus pen, and it hooks into the top of your phone. 
So I thought that was a really neat idea. So I, I got me one of those. And they, I couldn't believe I saw this. And I saw this in um, a, another YouTuber video. I don't remember who she was. And she was showing the Mod Podge. Look at that. Um, don't have my glasses on, but I think like one is matted and one is glossy. So, yeah, I'm really glad to see that. And um, I'll probably go back and get me some more um, during the week. Now, um, this is a, now I've made two trips to the Dollar Tree this weekend. So this is on trip number one, what, what I'm getting ready to show you. And then the um, same product that I showed you before is on the uh, second trip to Dollar Tree. I got these cups. I got a Spider-Man and I got the Avenger and guess who these are for my nephews and then I got me some top coat um, nail uh, polish well I don't know if you call it nail polish or not I just call it top coat and um, I've never used this before so I'm going to go ahead and put it on and check it out and see how it looks. Well, it makes my nail look nice and shiny. Hmm. Let me put it on another thing. I'm going to end up doing them all anyhow. I want to show you the shininess. I always put a little extra on because I like my nails to look real shiny and pretty all right there you go that's how shiny it is so yeah that's gonna I'm gonna like that now look at those two nails this one I have not done and this one I just did so I really like that and uh, this is by la what's it called la something like i said i don't have my glasses on and it's kind of blurred la what's it called la something anyhow all right well that is it for my haul and um i hope you have a good day or good night whenever you're watching this please subscribe click the like channel leave comments and questions i do answer all of my comments and questions even if you say nice video or hi or you know something you know just a couple of words or one word i do answer all my um comments okay well i'll see you in my next video i don't know when that's going to be because uh the next week with my um eye surgery and all i probably won't get around i won't ooh, i'll get it out i probably won't get around to doing much or talking much so um but anyhow see you later Bye bye